Got another one for you here right now. If you are free from 8 this morning until uh, 2 this afternoon, Baton Rouge Clinic on Perkins Road is where you're going to want to be. That's where we're focusing on powering up our kids, making sure they're strong and healthy. WAFB teaming up with Baton Rouge Clinic to host a free health and safety event for you and your family. Callie Hubbard's been live at the Baton Rouge Clinic all morning sharing these important mm -hmm. messages, making sure people know about these important resources. Hey, Callie. Hey Liz, and you're wondering what was in this basket. Like we said before, they're emphasizing on all things safety. So in here, they have a whole bunch of different sunscreens, different skincare options when you come on out here. Lots of things, health and safety that you're gonna find at the Baton Rouge Clinic over on Perkins Road. We also have Dr. Calandro, a pediatrician here, telling us more about car seat safety checks. You can actually get those today as well, right? Absolutely, good morning. So great to be with you guys today. Yes, we are so excited about this entire event today. So many amazing things going Going on just all about keeping our kids healthy and safe as we're going into this next school year and car seat safety is so so important so many times children are either in the wrong car seat or their car seats installed incorrectly so today we have car seat technicians that are out here who can help make sure your child is in that right seat and it's installed correctly yeah, what are some of those tips? You actually said that you had a tip that, that you, can you share this? So, you know, children often, I, I see, I'll, I'm driving down the road and I see kids sitting in the front seat when they shouldn't, or they're not even in a car seat at all. So probably some of the big, biggest things I encourage parents to remember is that children need to remain in a rear facing car seat until they have outgrown that car seat. And there, every car seat has a sticker on the side of it that says the height or weight for using in rear facing. Now by law, that's two. Children must stay rear facing until two years of age, but the longer the better, even until four years of age is fine. They're so much safer in a rear facing position. And then as our kids get older, a booster seat. So many kids come out of booster seats way too early. So you need to be four feet, nine inches before your child comes out of that booster seat. Dr. Calandro, definitely important things to keep in mind. Thank you so much. And you can head on out like you guys said it at 8 a.m. is when all the festivities will kick off here. Dr. Steve.